In mathematical analysis, the maxima and minima, the respective plurals of maximum and minimum of a function, known collectively as extrema, the plural of extremum, are the largest and smallest value of the function, either within a given range, the local or relative extrema, or on the entire domain of a function, the global or absolute extrema. Pierre de Fermat was one of the first mathematicians to propose a general technique, adequality, for finding the maxima and minima of functions. As defined in set theory, the maximum and minimum of a set are the greatest and least elements in the set, respectively. Unbounded infinite sets, such as the set of real numbers, have no minimum or maximum. Topic Definition A real valued function f defined on a domain x has a global or absolute maximum point at x if f x f x for all x in x. Similarly, the function has a global or absolute minimum point at x if f x f x for all x in x. The value of the function at a maximum point is called the maximum value of the function, and the value of the function at a minimum point is called the minimum value of the function. Symbolically, this can be written as follows x 0 element of x displaystyle x underscore 0 in mathrm x is a global maximum point of function f x r Display style f mathrm x two math b r if x element of x f x zero f x display style for all x in mathrm x f x underscore zero g e q f x Similarly for global minimum point. If the domain X is a metric space then F is said to have a local or relative maximum point at the point X if there exists some epsilon greater than zero such that F X F X for all X in X within distance epsilon of X. Similarly, the function has a local minimum point at x if f x f x for all x in x within distance epsilon of x. A similar definition can be used when x is a topological space, since the definition just given can be rephrased in terms of neighborhoods. Mathematically, the given definition is written as follows: Let x D x display style mathrm x d underscore mathrm x be a metric space and function f x r display style f mathrm x two math b r then x zero element of x display style x underscore zero in mathrm x is a local maximum point of function f display style f if epsilon greater than zero display style exists var epsilon greater than zero such that x element of x dx x x zero epsilon f x zero f x Display style for all x in mathrm x d underscore mathrm x x x underscore zero. Similarly, for a local minimum point, in both the global and local cases, the concept of a strict extremum can be defined. 
For example, x is a strict global maximum point if, for all x in x with x does not equal x, we have f x greater than f x, and x is a strict local maximum point if there exists some epsilon greater than zero such that, for all x in x within distance epsilon of x with x does not equal x, we have f x greater than f x. Note that a point is a strict global maximum point if and only if it is the unique global maximum point, and similarly for minimum points. A continuous real-valued function with a compact domain always has a maximum point and a minimum point. An important example is a function whose domain is a closed and bounded interval of real numbers see the graph above. Topic search Finding global maxima and minima is the goal of mathematical optimization. If a function is continuous on a closed interval, then by the extreme value theorem global maxima and minima exist. Furthermore, a global maximum or minimum either must be a local maximum or minimum in the interior of the domain, or must lie on the boundary of the domain. So a method of finding a global maximum or minimum is to look at all the local maxima or minima in the interior and also look at the maxima or minima of the points on the boundary and take the largest or smallest one. Likely the most important yet quite obvious feature of continuous real valued functions of a real variable is that they decrease before local minima and increase afterwards likewise for maxima Formally if f is continuous real valued function of a real variable x then x0 is a local minimum iff there exist a for any function that is defined piecewise one finds a maximum or minimum by finding the maximum or minimum of each piece separately and then seeing which one is largest or smallest Topic Examples The function x two has a unique global minimum at x equals zero. The function x three has no global minima or maxima. Although the first derivative three by two is zero at x equals zero, this is an inflection point. The function x x display style sqrt x x has a unique global maximum at x equals e c figure at right the function x minus x has a unique global maximum over the positive real numbers at x equals 1 e the function by 3 thirds minus x has first derivative x2 minus 1 and second derivative 2x. Setting the first derivative to 0 and solving for x gives stationary points at minus 1 and plus 1. From the sign of the second derivative we can see that minus 1 is a local maximum and plus 1 is a local minimum. Note that this function has no global maximum or minimum. The function, x, has a global minimum at x. Topic 0 that cannot be found by taking derivatives, because the derivative does not exist at x. 0 the function cos x has infinitely many global maxima at 0 plus or minus 2 pi plus or minus 4 pi and infinitely many global minima at plus or minus pi plus or minus 3 pi the function 2 cos x minus x has infinitely many local maxima and minima but no global maximum or minimum the function cos 3 pi x x with 0.1 x1 1 has a global maximum at x 
Topic 0.1 a boundary, a global minimum near X. 0 3 a local maximum near X. Topic 0.6 and a local minimum near X. 1.0 see figure at top of page the function x 3 plus 3 by 2 minus 2 x plus 1 defined over the closed interval segment minus 4 2 has a local and maximum at x topic minus 1 minus square root 15 thirds a local minimum at x Minus one plus square root fifteen thirds, a global maximum at x. Topic two and a global minimum at x. Minus four. Topic functions of more than one variable. For functions of more than one variable, similar conditions apply. For example, in the enlargeable figure at the right, the necessary conditions for a local maximum are similar to those of a function with only one variable. The first partial derivatives as to z, the variable to be maximized, are zero at the maximum, the glowing dot on top in the figure. The second partial derivatives are negative. These are only necessary, not sufficient, conditions for a local maximum because of the possibility of a saddle point. For use of these conditions to solve for a maximum, the function z must also be differentiable throughout. The second partial derivative test can help classify the point as a relative maximum or relative minimum. In contrast, there are substantial differences between functions of one variable and functions of more than one variable in the identification of global extrema. For example, if a bounded differentiable function f defined on a closed interval in the real line has a single critical point, which is a local minimum, then it is also a global minimum use the intermediate value theorem and Rolle's theorem to prove this by reductio ad absurdum. In two and more dimensions, this argument fails, as the function f x y equals x 2 plus y 2 1 minus x 3 x y element of r Display style f x y equals x caret two plus y caret two one x caret three q quad x y in math b r shows its only critical point is at zero zero, which is a local minimum with f zero zero. Topic zero. However, it cannot be a global one, because f2, 3 minus 5 topic maxima or minima of a functional If the domain of a function for which an extremum is to be found consists itself of functions, i.e. if an extremum is to be found of a functional, the extremum is found using the calculus of variations. In relation to sets 
Maxima and minima can also be defined for sets. In general, if an ordered set S has a greatest element M, M is a maximal element. Furthermore, if S is a subset of an ordered set T and M is the greatest element of S with respect to order induced by T, M is a least upper bound of S in T. The similar result holds for least element, minimal element and greatest lower bound. The maximum and minimum function for sets are used in databases, and can be computed rapidly, since the maximum or minimum of a set can be computed from the maxima of a partition. Formally, they are self-decomposable aggregation functions. In the case of a general partial order, the least element smaller than all other should not be confused with a minimal element, nothing is smaller. Likewise, a greatest element of a partially ordered set posit is an upper bound of the set which is contained within the set, whereas a maximal element M of a posit A is an element of a such that if M B for any B in A, then M equals B. Any least element or greatest element of a posit is unique, but a posit can have several minimal or maximal elements. If a posit has more than one maximal element, then these elements will not be mutually comparable. In a totally ordered set, or chain, all elements are mutually comparable, so such a set can have at most one minimal element and at most one maximal element. Then, due to mutual comparability, the minimal element will also be the least element and the maximal element will also be the greatest element. Thus in a totally ordered set we can simply use the terms minimum and maximum. If a chain is finite then it will always have a maximum and a minimum. If a chain is infinite then it need not have a maximum or a minimum. For example, the set of natural numbers has no maximum, though it has a minimum. If an infinite chain S is bounded, then the closure chlorine monosulfide of the set occasionally has a minimum and a maximum, in such case they are called the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound of the set S, respectively. See also Derivative test Infimum and supremum Limit superior and limit inferior Mechanical equilibrium Sample maximum and minimum Saddle point <laughs>